My name is Hannah Newman and this is my videotape assignment. Hi Caroline, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great. So I was going to tell you I have a student who has been distracted and he's just he knows the information but he hasn't been doing his work. I just can't find a way to get him to do his work. So can you help me identify what the problem could possibly be? Well, it sounds like that he is not focused, like you said, and that he might need some motivation to complete his work. Okay, so our problem would be that I have a student who needs to be motivated to do his work. So yes. what could our question be? How could that be a question for him? How can we create a system to motivate Ronnie to complete his work? Yes, that sounds good. Okay, so we have our question. So I think the next step that we should do is we should generate some solutions. And I think okay. we should brainstorm. So I'm okay. going to write these down. Okay. Okay. So do you have any ideas? What about isolated area? Okay. Okay. I was thinking maybe a token system. So like when he is feeling unmotivated, he has something that kind of pushes him to do his work. What about snack motivation? Snack motivation, okay. Okay, and I was thinking maybe extra recess to get his energy out or something. Okay. Okay, do you have any other ideas? I don't think so. I think those are okay. good. I think that's a good list. Okay, so let's assess our options. So okay. our first one was isolated areas. So can you explain more about isolated areas, what that means? Sure. So I was thinking like him sitting at a desk like by himself mm -hmm. and him like having two walls on either side of him and then having a wall in front of him. So he's like focused on his work and like it's just him. Okay. So what I'm getting from that is um, it's kind of like a cubicle situation where it keeps him from his eyes wandering and just keeping him completely focused yeah, on the work. Sure. Okay. Yep. So, um, what are some pros and cons of that? So, pros would obviously keep him focused because he couldn't like wander, you know, looking around, seeing what his other classmates are doing. And some cons could be it's not motivational at all. Like, yeah. It's just him, you know. And then, uh, um, it could be intrusive because it takes him out of his normal learning environment that he's yeah, used to. Yeah, and away from his normal... His peers. Yes, okay. I could see that. Yeah, okay, I agree with that. Okay, so the next one on our list is the token system. And I kind of elaborated on that a little bit. Basically, um, it's where he gets rewarded for being motivated and completing his work. Okay. So some pros of that would be um, he's rewarded for good behavior, so it's going to promote good behavior in the classroom. Right. Um, a con, I would say, would be he might try to finish his work really fast and not um, use the knowledge that he learned in order to get a reward. Yeah. So that, that wouldn't be good. Um, okay, our next one is snack motivation yeah snack motivation um it could be just like a healthy snack and uh just i i don't i'm i personally i don't think i really like snack motivation you don't like that one no. okay just, just because i don't know it's just no I don't okay like that. that's fine <laughs> okay so that leaves us with extra recess any pros about extra recess um I would say maybe it relieves excess energy. Maybe that's why he's not motivated. Maybe. Of course, that's more of a, an assumption, so we don't really know. Right. But that could be it. Um, do you have any cons that you can think of? Um, it could. That could be something that could cut into more of like classroom time. That's a good point. Yeah. Even though it'd be something rewarding for him, but it could still cut and, and affect that. Right. His learning time. Right. Okay. Yes. So what? Do you have a preference toward any of these ideas? Um, I think the um, 
either between oscillated area or the token system. Okay, I agree. I'm leaning more towards the token system. Yeah, me too. I think we should throw out snack motivation mm -hmm. and excess recess just because that was a good point that it might cut into learning time. Right. So I'm going to lean towards the token system just because, just because I feel like it's more of a motivational thing mm -hmm. rather than isolation. Right. Yeah, I agree. And whenever they receive the token or like the token of what they get, it's more it's like a physical. So like they have it there and they know that what what they have done. What is, they've worked for. Yes. That's it's a great there. point. It's there for them. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So now we need to implement our solution. Okay. So I guess this is a time to schedule when we're going. To do this and how we're going to do this okay so obviously we'll do it in his general ed class okay and um we'll have um, a list of rewards maybe even excess resets we can pull that from our brainstorming activity and we can add it into a list of rewards that we could do okay do you, can you think of any other rewards that might be good um I think you could maybe pull from snacks, like yeah. if he meets like a certain goal, mm -hmm. you could have like a little cake for him or something, you yeah. know, just so he knows like he's reached his goal and like right. he's, he's improving. Anything to motivate him. Right, yes. Maybe even some um, little toys like sticky hands yes. or something, some candy of some sort, just something to just keep so he him knows. focused. Yes, and he knows that he is improving and that he can... Right. He can do it. And he also knows that if he doesn't, then he He's, won't get yeah, rewarded with right. those things. Yes, he, he will not be receiving. Okay, so what I think we should do is implement the plan over the next four weeks and okay. just see how it affects Ronnie. What do you think about that? I think that'll be good. I think uh, November 1st would be a good time around that area. To go in for an evaluation. Yeah, I think yes. that would that would be a good time. Okay, I think I agree. I think that gives him enough time to get used to this, to the, to the system, system, and to really see if it's beneficial or not. Right. He can have his ups and downs, and then once he's through that stage, he can he can know what his schedule. Right. Okay. So let's go into the evaluation stage, okay. and I will get back to you on November first. Okay. Okay. Hi Caroline, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great, it's good to see you again. It's good to see you. Okay, so let's start talking about uh, the evaluation process of what we've implemented for Ronnie. I okay. have some good news, but first I'm gonna ask you, how do you feel about what we've done so far? I think that he has improved tremendously. He is focusing not more on he is focusing more on his work but it is a longer period of time his grades have improved and he is not acting out or having behavior issues in the classroom okay that's awesome yeah so how have you seen him grow in this area i feel like he's been doing awesome with this new token system i think that not only has he improved with being motivated to do his work but he's more motivated during lessons and he pays attention more he's more motivated to be on good behavior. I haven't had any kind of behavior problems from him like I have kind of in the past. So right. he's just been an all around awesome student. That's great. That's good. So what I'm gathering is that we kind of both feel that the solution was successful. Yes, most definitely. I do agree. Okay, so do you feel as though we should stick with the solution? Yes, I do. I think Ronnie, enjoys I would say enjoys but him receiving something that he likes hasn't helped him improve because he knows that if he focuses well and even acts behavioral wise good that he will receive something positive out of that and so he wants to continue to do that so I think that we should stay with the system you made some great points because I also feel that he works harder just because he knows he's going to get that reward and then when he gets that reward it's so rewarding to him just because he's the one who worked for that and he knows that he strived to pay attention and stay motivated to do his work. Yes. So I think you made some great points. Yes, I agree. Okay, so it looks as though we're going to stick with this plan and I'm really proud of what we've done here. I think we've done a great job implementing this plan and I think we should continue to evaluate over the next 
six months or so just to make okay. sure that he's still continuing to grow yes, that in this good. plan. So thank you so much for working with me. Do You're you have welcome. any other comments to make about Ronnie? Anything mm. else? No, I think I think he's I think he's gonna do good. I think you found a good system and that he will continue to improve. I agree. I think we both found a good system. Well, thank you so much for meeting with me again, and I'm so glad to hear that I'm not the only one who's seen improvements in Ronnie. For so sure. That's yes. awesome. Yeah. So thank you so much. You're and welcome. I'll talk to you soon. Okay.